Welcome to the gripping world of combat, a show that encapsulated the gritty essence of World War II through its unflinching portrayal of the harrowing battlefield. Amidst the fog of war and the chaos of combat, this series navigated the human experiences of soldiers facing the trials of conflict. One might ponder amidst the multitude of characters which role resonated most, or perhaps a singular scene etched into memory, leaving an enduring impact. The show's depth allowed for these connections, fostering a diverse array of favorites and memorable moments. Before delving into personal recollections, let's lay down some compelling facts about this riveting series. Running for several seasons, combat became a testament to the complexities of war, showcasing not just the physical battles, but the emotional toll it exacted from those on the front lines. Now, it's over to you, dear readers. What's your most cherished memory or unforgettable experience linked to this compelling series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your experiences add layers to the legacy of this remarkable show. Share your tales and immerse in the collective nostalgia. Let's weave a tapestry of anecdotes that celebrate the impact of combat in our lives. In the 1962 series Combat, Huvati, Kirby carried the bar, a .30-6 machine gun, from the first season till the series ended. This iconic weapon became associated with the character throughout the show's run. Vic Morrow, born on the day of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1929, portrayed Sergeant Chip Saunders, becoming strongly linked with the Thompson submachine gun. Cage was meant to be a Cajun from Louisiana, while Jalbert hailed from Quebec as a French-Canadian. The show's early weapon choices and character origins added depth to combat, by aligning characters with specific backgrounds and weapons, enhancing their authenticity and impact on the series. Sergeant Saunders, a key character in the series, sported a distinctive helmet covered with a piece of nylon from a U.S. paratrooper's canopy. This detail differed from what many viewers assumed about the helmet's origin, adding an interesting layer to the character's appearance. The show's attention to such specific elements contributed to its authenticity and attention to detail, creating a more immersive experience for audiences. The depth of character backgrounds and the incorporation of unique elements like this helmet enriched the overall impact of the series. The series was budgeted at $150,000 per episode. This hefty budget reflected the commitment to authenticity and detail, allowing the show to invest in accurate props, costumes, and sets. It enabled the production team to recreate the wartime atmosphere convincingly. This financial backing was pivotal in bringing the characters, their backgrounds, and the weaponry to life, contributing significantly to the series' immersive quality. The dedication to accuracy and realism in depicting the era resonated strongly with the audience, creating a lasting impact that transcended the screen. Authenticity was a core element in crafting the show's identity. Each episode was a testament to the meticulous attention given to historical details, ensuring that the portrayal of characters and their tools resonated with accuracy. The significant budget allocated per episode allowed the series to maintain this level of authenticity throughout its runtime, resulting in a compelling and genuine depiction of wartime experiences. This commitment to accuracy not only elevated the show's quality, but also solidified its place as a classic in television history. Vic Morrow and Rick Jason's weapon choices in combat led to interesting onset adjustments. Originally, Jason was slated to carry the heavy Thompson submachine gun but switched to a lighter M1 carbine due to its weight. Morrow later took on the Thompson but also found it too heavy, resulting in a wooden replica for non-action scenes. This quirky weapon swap brought unique dynamics to the show's filming. The behind-the-scenes challenges and adaptations made by the actors added an intriguing layer to the series, showcasing their dedication to their roles. These weapon swaps, a lesser-known aspect of the show's production, contributed to the authenticity of the characters' portrayals, making combat an intriguing watch for fans curious about its behind-the-scenes intricacies. Beginning with Vic Morrow, the cast members of Combat, got custom-made fiberglass prop helmet shells as the series progressed. These replaced the heavier steel shells of the real M1 helmets they started with, aiming for comfort during filming. Morrow, playing Sergeant Saunders, wore a distinctive helmet covered with a piece of nylon from a U.S. 
paratrooper's canopy, adding a unique touch to his character's appearance. This change in helmet materials reflected the show's commitment to authenticity, ensuring actors' comfort while maintaining the visual accuracy of the wartime setting. Morrow's distinct headgear became synonymous with his portrayal, reinforcing the show's attention to detail and creating an immersive experience for audiences. Pierre Jalbert, cast as PFC. Cage brought a different angle to the show, despite his prior work at MGM in film editing. He lacked acting experience before joining the series. This transition marked a significant shift in his career, stepping into the role of PFC. Cage Lemay. Meanwhile, Paul Bush's recurring appearances as various German soldiers and officers throughout the series added a recurring tension, often meeting his demise within the storyline. These unique aspects behind the scenes, from the actors' adaptations to the show's commitment to realistic props, contributed to the distinctiveness and success of combat. The evolution of the cast's helmets, Morrow's iconic headgear, Jalbert's leap into acting, and Bush's multiple roles enriched the show's portrayal of wartime authenticity, leaving a lasting impact on television history. In the course of combat, S five-year run, a planned feature film adaptation never saw the light of day, despite Bruce Willis being lined up to take on the role of Sergeant Chip Saunders. The series, known for its commitment to authenticity, faced the challenge of transitioning to the big screen, a venture that ultimately remained unrealized. The attempt to bring combat to a feature film format underscores the show's enduring impact. While the TV series adeptly navigated the intricacies of wartime storytelling, the transition to cinema posed challenges that proved insurmountable. Bruce Willis, slated to embody the iconic Sergeant Saunders, never got the chance to lead the charge on the silver screen, leaving fans with the television legacy intact. Interestingly, combat, just for the record, revealed a personal side of Sergeant Saunders. In a phonographic recording from his mother and sister, Saunders is affectionately called Chip, offering a glimpse into his familial ties. The revelation that he hails from Cleveland, oh, adds a layer of complexity to his character, humanizing the tough and resilient sergeant viewers came to know on the battlefield. The series' remarkable longevity, spanning five years, stands out against the backdrop of the brief time frame of World War II. The fact that only 11 months passed between D-Day and the German surrender in 1945 is a stark contrast to the enduring impact of combat. While the episode count fell short of the chronological timeline, the show's ability to captivate audiences for five seasons speaks volumes about its staying power. In exploring combat, S journey from TV to the possibility of a film, the personal revelations and just for the record, and its endurance beyond the wartime chronology, it becomes evident that the series transcended its initial premise. The commitment to authenticity and character depth, hallmarks of combat, left an indelible mark on television history, showcasing the enduring appeal of wartime storytelling. As we part ways, let the echoes of the battlefield linger in your thoughts. Combat isn't just a television series, it's a tapestry woven with the threads of bravery, camaraderie, and the indomitable human spirit. As you step away from the screen, take a moment to reflect on the resonance of this timeless narrative. Perhaps you've found solace in the unspoken bonds between soldiers, or maybe the riveting tales have stirred something profound within you. Your connection with combat extends beyond the frames of black and white, transcending eras and transcending screens. Whether it's the unforgettable characters or the gripping plot lines, there's a unique imprint it has left on your storytelling soul. Now, as you navigate through the tapestry of memories, we invite you to share your thoughts, your cherished moments, and the impact this series has had on your own narrative. In this shared space of reflection, let the conversations flow like a gentle stream winding through the battlegrounds of nostalgia. Your stories are the mortar that binds the bricks of this enduring legacy. Reach out, connect, and revel in the beauty of a community woven together by the common thread of combat. Experiences. As we bid adieu, we extend our deepest gratitude for allowing us to be a part of this journey. Your time and interest are the fuel that propels us forward. So, here's to you the storyteller, the reminisce weaver, the custodian of memories. Until our narratives intertwine again, thank you for sharing this moment in the tapestry of combat. Lord.